Accurate colour reproduction is extremely important in dental photography. Too often I see before and after results which have a clear inaccuracy in the colour reproduction. So to achieve accurate colour, we need to adjust the camera's white balance. Yep. When changing the white balance, you are effectively taking into account the colour temperature of the light source, which is measured in kelvins. The higher the kelvin, the warmer the colour, and the lower the kelvin, the cooler. Almost all on-camera flash sources, like this one, deliver light with a cool tint. Therefore, setting your camera to a flash preset white balance will add warm tones to counteract this. While this may produce a close to reality colour reproduction, it is not technically perfectly accurate. To achieve accurate colour balance, you'll need to do a manual white balance. So to do this, what I'm going to be using is an X-Rite colour checker and I'm going to be using the Sony A7R 4 So the first thing we need to do is go into the menu system and in the menu system go to uh, the exposure colour menu go to down to white balance click on white balance and then go down to custom and there's a there's a couple of ways that you can do this you can either do it through that menu system or you can do it through the function settings so press the FN function button on the back and you want to scroll down to custom settings say custom one and we can set a custom white balance for this flash so we go into set we select set and then what we need to do is get our grey card um, or piece of white paper and remember you've got to set your camera up in exactly the same settings you're going to be taking your pictures on so I'm on f22 250th of a second um, at ISO 100 and what I'm going to do is just aim it towards this um, towards this grey colour checker select in the middle there and this has captured the white balance data and it's given us a Kelvin temperature of around 6000 Kelvins which is about what I'd expect this is now saved to custom 1 so I would set my white balance then up to custom 1 so each time now I go to custom 1 it will always be set at 6000 Kelvins and it will retain that setting every time I'm shooting so set my white balance to that if you don't want to set up a custom white balance for any reason and it's getting a bit too complex and you're thinking look I just want a quick way of setting it up and my images are green because the custom white balance isn't correct anymore and I've accidentally set it the best thing to do is then set your white balance back to flash so if you go to white balance flash set it on that you will then get an, a close to accurate colour reproduction. 